Hey guys, and welcome back to RotarySpring.com. I'm RST instructor Chris Tyler. And if you've ever battled with those chunk chip shots or those annoying thin shots, or maybe you've even found yourself battling with those chipping yips, well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how three simple checkpoints are gonna fix your chipping technique in less than 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna fix your chipping technique in a very quick amount of time today. So the three checkpoints that I want you to focus on is number one, when you take your grip in your left hand, assuming that you're a right-handed player, you're gonna have your grip pressure be focused in your back three fingers, okay? So your back three fingers on your left hand, okay? You're gonna just have a little bit of pressure back there, maybe on a scale of one to 10, probably about a two to four. Now, I want you to focus on not pushing on the shaft with a thumb. So if you see here, when I take it back, I can push against the shaft pretty hard and it's gonna make the club bottom out too early. It's gonna run into some chunk shots, maybe some thin shots as well. Second key point here that I want you to focus on is making sure that your right hand feels like it's just barely resting on the golf club. And then the final key point during this whole process is I want you to think of the golf ball being the bottom of a pendulum, okay, the bottom of a swing arc. And we're gonna think about, if we were to go back 50%, we wanna go through 50%, but today we're gonna to change that up and we're gonna go shorter to longer because we want to keep that club accelerating through the impact zone but i don't want you to do it too quickly so you're going to see here if i go back 20 percent i'm going to try to chip through to 50 percent always keep that club moving so just to recap while i step over it back three fingers of left hand no pushing on the shaft with the thumb right hand feels like it's very relaxed short long you're going to see that you get the ball closer to the hole every single time What you're gonna notice is, is that your chest is open about 90 degrees here and your right heel is up off the ground. It's another big pet peeve of mine. So what we're gonna be looking for here is rather than allowing our chest to spin through the hitting area, we wanna feel like the wrists are rotating over the top of each other. Okay, so a good way to feel this again, and you're gonna to try to keep your chest or your buttons on your shirt facing down at the golf ball while this is happening. 